It's time for Eyewitness Sports. American Legion baseball playoffs continue tonight. Games taking on more and more importance as there are more and more elimination games, of course, as we go on. Two teams looking to stay alive tonight were eight seed Ariskany and four seed Utica. One of them advancing, one of them going home. The game was played at Notre Dame High School in Utica. Ariskany grad Andrew Fisnick at bat with a runner on first. And as the pitch comes in, Christian Stevens on the move. He goes to second where there's an errant throw. And then again, an error on the throw at third. So he trots on home standing. That ties the game at one in the top of the fifth. So now we head to extra innings with that tied score. Now it's 2020 Ariskany grad and MVCC sophomore Colton Davis at the plate with two runners on. Ball's put in play, and Anthony Kernan and Alex Burrows both come home to give Ariskany its first lead of the game. And it's a lead that would hold on as Ariskany pulls off the upset in comeback fashion in extras 3-1. Smith Post topped Moran Post in dominating fashion tonight, 16 to 1. Moran now moves on to host Ariskany tomorrow at 5:15 p.m. at Camden Middle School in an elimination game again. Meanwhile, Smith advances to round three for a spot in the championship game, and their opponent was decided in Rome tonight as top seed Whitestown hosted five seed Illion. Here in the fourth inning, Westmoreland senior Caleb Miller's at bat with bases loaded sends the ball to right field, so Whitesboro senior Dominic Bullis scores. Then Whitesboro grad Noah Scranton comes on in. Senior Lewis Messiasek right behind him. Three runs in total. Bases clearing hit. It's 4 0 Whitestown. Now the same inning. It's 5 0 now with runners at second and third. Whitesboro grad Ty Kane knocks the ball into the play and it chops off the pitcher's mound, slows it down, gives enough time for Whitesboro grad and Utica College sophomore Ryan Cardone to come on in. And senior Deshaun Hutchinson scores two. Whitestown takes a 7 0 lead. Jump head to the sixth. Ilian not giving up with Little Falls as Ricky Smith at bat. That ball is put in play. Whitestown not able to make the play this time. And Dodgeville's Brady Wilcox rounds the bases to put Ilian on the board. But it's 7 1, and that's kind of where it would go. It's one run, but it wasn't enough. Whitestown's shown time and time again why they're the top seed, still undefeated in the playoffs. Now 14 and 1 overall this year. So tomorrow's matchups are set. Let's do something fun. I'm going to call this David's Diagrams. Take a look at the bracket. It's a little bit confusing, so I figured I would explain it because I'm a visual learner. You've got your two brackets here. You have the Ariskany and Moran 8 and 2 elimination game, and you have the Adrian and Ilian elimination game. Both these games tomorrow, 5:15 p.m. This one at CVA, Ariskany and Moran at Camden Middle School tomorrow. Where it gets tricky is with the Smith and Whitestown 3-1 matchup. The two undefeated teams left. Winner of that game automatically goes to the championship game for District 5. But the thing is, they still have to play a game before that against the winner of the Ariskany Moran game. And Adrian and Ilian, will, the winner of that game, will play the loser of the Smith and Whitestown game. The two of those teams will play. Now, the thing is, if the Ariskany or Moran winner winds up beating the undefeated team of Smith or Whitestown, whoever wins that game tomorrow, it's going to be a double elimination bracket where in the championship game, that team can only lose once, and that's the end of that. They'd have to play an extra game against the Adrian Ilian team that winds up advancing as well. I know that was a little confusing. We'll do a little bit longer of a breakdown online. See in my homepage.com for all of that, but hey, I think my drawing's okay enough for right now. College baseball tonight, the Utica Blue Sox hosted the Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs in a doubleheader, finally able to play each other after so many postponements due to rain. Dogs won game one, three, two. Now the Blue Sox at bat down one run early in the second inning, but a shot by Jeff Nickel over the second base. Jeff Nickel comes in to score, rather. That hit was by sophomore Garrett Gray. So now the game's tied, and it wound up, wouldn't be tied for too much longer, though. Utica winds up winning this one 9-1. So for now, that's all for sports. Go check out CNYHomepage.com for all your top sports stories and more Legion baseball. As always, there's more eyewitness news after the break. Stay friendly and stay tuned.